Hi everybody. Um, welcome back to the homestead. So I want to talk a little bit about people that you meet on YouTube or social media or Facebook or whatever. Um, and how this experience that we're sharing with you all is affecting the lives of other people. Recently, I was contacted by someone who's been a subscriber to the channel for a while, and she is embarking on a journey of her own here to Maine. And uh, so we've been talking through the Facebook channel and or page and um, sharing information. So I want to give a shout out to Melissa and I'll direct you all over to her page so you can read about her journey, which is just as inspiring. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do some collaborations with each other and uh, you know, we've already been talking for, oh, I'd say probably a month now, and it's been great. So I'm really excited to meet her in person for the first time and uh, share knowledge. I plan on giving her some uh, seedlings that I've started <clears throat> so that she can start her garden this season because she's going to be super busy getting her homestead started and up and running. And I've been there. I know how that goes. And... I know what work is ahead of her, so as exciting as it is for her to be here soon, um, <laughs> I know that it's a lot of hard work, and I know she's really excited to get here and uh, start that hard work. There's no amount of preparation that you can do to prepare you for what it entails to be a homesteader to do the hard work because it is a lot of hard work. Do not kid yourself. This is not uh, some fly by the night dream that you can have because once you get here and you make the commitment, once you get to the point where you have a place to go, a place to be, the land that's yours, Oh my god, she sounds like she's dying. Um, <laughs> once you get there, you can't, you know, you can either just do it, you're all in. Be all in. <laughs> That's all I can say really is because this place, it's so beautiful and it gives me joy every day. My animals, you know, I see the beautiful life that they're living and um, it just, it fills a place in your heart that you didn't know was even empty until you start doing this and so as hard as it is it's really it's so worth it it is so worth the work and the time and the sweat and the tears and the lack of money all the time um, but then you meet people and there's just something that happens um, if you're in a town like we are, which is pretty small, it's a college town, um, less than 5,000 people. There was a motorcycle that went by. So um, what was I saying? Oh yes, less than 5,000 people. So it's a pretty tight knit community. There are lots of amenities and services here still. We didn't want to move so far away from civilization that we didn't have access to a hospital or, you know, a grocery store if we needed it. Um, we hope one day eventually to not need very much from anything or anyone, but right now while we're still transitioning from full-fledged uh, commercialism-loving people to uh, self-sustaining, self-sufficient, um, self-perpetuating people, uh, we still need things, you know, so that's another thing. You can go off-grid. There are lots of YouTube channels that I love and subscribe to that are all about going off-grid, and again, it's hard, you know. I'm not completely off-grid. We have power. 
which is great. Um, but I don't have hot running water. I don't have a indoor shower. <laughs> we use a composting toilet. You know, there's a lot of things that we don't have, but we do have power. So um, eventually one day we, when we can afford it and have, you know, gotten the necessary things in place to have solar power and wind power, we are gonna do that. We're just not there yet and that's okay. Unless you have a lot of money to go off grid with, you're gonna have these same issues to deal with. So what's really great though is this town, because it's small, there are wonderful people that I meet all the time. Um, my neighbors are all great and they're always there willing to help and um, lend us a hand and knowledge. And I love them all for it very much. This lifestyle can be lonely as well. And so you have to be prepared for that too. It's, it's, it's isolating at times, especially if you're on your own. Um, so, you know, I, I, I always joke that, you know, if Gary dies or if I were to die, would we stay? Would we continue to do this? Because it would be so hard to do it without a partner um, or children or family or friends around. So wherever you go, choose the community. Don't just choose the place because you're going to need to depend on people for a lot of things, especially in the beginning. Um, and if you're anything like me or other homesteaders that I've met, you're not just doing this to take care of yourself. You're doing it to take care of your community and your family and um, the environment uh, for your health. And you want to help people too. You don't you know, you're not a selfish person. So all that being said, I wanted to introduce you to Melissa, which was my main goal of this video, which by the way, first video blog. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys like it. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of these. All right, guys. Bye from the homestead.